Grubhub is the official food sponsor of the LCS. And they sent me a Hextech chest, a real Hextech chest. If you do want to be entered in to win one of these bad boys, all you gotta do is use code IGNITE to receive a Hextech chest and key on orders over $15. And then you're entered to win one of the 10 Hextech chests that they fill with Grubhub prizes. There's no purchase necessary, it's US only, and it's up to 50,000 redemptions. Prizes include a $250 Grubhub gift card, a Rockat mouse and mouse pad, and League of Legends game skins. I know that they gave me one of these because I used it twice. I got tacos and I got coffee. So one more massive thank you to my boys Grubhub for giving me the free meals. I'm honestly going to replace my mouse because my mouse is ancient. I think I got my mouse like 2014. Just wanted to give a huge shout out to Grubhub for sponsoring this video and this stream. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys for sponsoring the content again and again. Order this weekend using the code IGNITE on orders over $15, you can get a free Grubhub Hextech chest and key and a chance to win one of these real life Hextech chests, which will come with a Grubhub gift card so that you can support your favorite teams on a full stomach and use that gusto to give them energy to win. Shout outs, Grubhub. Thank you guys for the awesome box. You guys are cool and awesome. Gamers, if you think for one second that I am going to lock in Janna top today. Well, then you're wrong, buckaroo. Wait, first, let me do this because it'll be funny. I'm here in the eye of the storm investigating just how bad League of Legends has gotten. There seems to be some sort of problem in the top lane where it has become so effectively useless that all top laners are deciding to just leave. Let's check out challenger top lane god, Morlo. So I originally started off wanting to play it because I had four or five solo queue games go super poorly with top lane having no impact, Morlo said. And I mainly did it just to mess with them. But then I managed to pull off this play and I was hooked. What's the play? What play did Lorlo do, man? What did you do, Lorlo? Popping off? Dude, oh, it's so, it's so, so tedious, bro. Oh my god. It's so freaking nutty, dude. That is the most painful thing. I am so glad that so many good games have come out recently. Because being a jungler for this patch sounds like hell on earth. It's out, dude. Janna went support item. Okay, she goes support item. She gets gold off of the support item. Janna offers enough utility for it not to matter if she's low on gold. And going smite, you literally just pick on the jungler, bro. Look, that is Graves. That is Graves. That is a Graves that he's picking on. I know it's getting nerfed and I'm super glad it's getting nerfed, but I wanna talk about it because it's so funny to me. It is like the funniest thing, man. It's so good. It's so good. The pick has since made its way into LCS, League of Legends Championship, Korean Challengers League, and LVP Super Liga. I didn't know that. I know that it was an LCS for damn sure, though. The problem with it, this is more of an exploit than it is a clever thing. This is more of them exploiting the game in its current state than it is in Ophelios plays top, but he plays top so f***ing well that he makes it work. This is an exploit. This is, it doesn't matter if we're behind on gold to the enemy top laner because we get to get the objective bounties. We get to get every single dragon because we get smite. We get to get gold off of the support item. We get to get a vision ward, a vision trinket and get double the wards on the map because now there's two supports. Like I got a tweet, dude, I, I did a tweet and I was talking about this all day and somebody was like, I thought you said you don't want champions to be locked in one role that's not what this is this isn't someone being crazy and changing oh jenna's now so good top lane they're literally exploiting faults in the game it is like funnel strat why did they nerf funnel strat Tarek was going mid and he wasn't getting any cs why did they nerf it because it fundamentally broke the game this is the first strat i can think of since funnel strat that genuinely breaks league of legends i made this this was a meme because i was scrolling through lorlo's games while i was like researching this stuff i was scrolling through his games uh and there was a game i watched where he went janna top and the enemy top laner chose ivern and none of them went top look at this look at this gamers look it was ivern to counter the janna and it worked. And just so you know, 
Lorlo is f***ing cracked. And if he's doing something like this and something counters it, that's called logical progression. This will become a counter to Janatop. Obviously, I don't think this would specifically, but I'm just saying, if Janatop stayed, people would have to counter it by playing sh that could be just as strong as Janatop. It's just double support, yes, but the problem, right, and the reason why I knew that Riot was either gonna hotfix it or nerf it into the ground the next patch they could is because of this right here, I sh you not. This right here is making everyone in Riot HQ, everything's on fire right now. You walk into that office right now, everything is on fire. Shelves, the cabinets, it's all on fire. And the reason it's all on fire is because this is not League of Legends. This should never be League of Legends. This isn't what League is supposed to be. It is quite literally, don't go to this section of the map. This section of the map offers so little to the state of the game right now that that just don't go there. Having teleport not be unleashed for the first, what is it, 14, 15 minutes of the game? You can't do about Janna making an impact everywhere else on the game. So as a top laner, you just have to sit there and push in and get as much CS as you can to hopefully make an impact way later. But at that point, they already have three dragons because your jungler is not going to outsmite two smites. They got the herald because your jungler is not going to outsmite two smites. And Janna has ganked every single lane and probably put your jungler behind on CS. And I bring up the LCS game because it did, I, who was it, Kumo? Was it Kumo who played it? Yeah, it was Kumo. Look, Janna top goes Janna top. You watch this game, right? Graves is sitting there to be the answer to Janna. Oh, you're just going to roam? I'm going to push as Graves, a very powerful pushing champion. Graves goes push. He has teleport, which at this stage of the game is effectively useless. Right now, this does nothing. For 15 minutes, he is laning against nobody. The teleport is doing nothing for him. Nothing. Unless he's going to TP to a tower and lane gank. The teleport is doing nothing for him. It is an absolutely useless spell right now, but he goes it because later in the game, teleport is so important that he's gonna need it. The problem is by the time that teleport is important, Jenna has already destroyed the enemy team. It's so funny. It's so funny, man. It's so funny. It's not whenever I say this thing breaking League of Legends, this is the first time it's actually breaking. It's not Runeglaive Ezreal so strong. Like, no, it's none of that. It is literally, this game is not supposed to be played like this. And do I, do I like it? I think this is awesome. Particularly this instance, I think that this is an exploit, right? I've already said it a million times. They are using objective bounties. They are using the fact that teleport has been weakened. They are using the fact that Janna is so powerful without gold, right? They are doing all of these things in tandem to just dominate the game because the game in this current state is balls and anus for top laners. How are they gonna nerf it? They said that they're already nerfing objective bounties. I don't know exactly how I feel about that. Everyone agrees that objective bounties are kind of a silly concept, right? I, I, I never really liked objective bounties. I did it first because I thought it'd make the games better, but they're too easily exploitable. They punish you for winning and they're too easily exploitable. Like you go Shivana or Nasus or another insane pusher and your team falls behind. All you need is a few seconds and you get your team a ton of gold. So it's crazy. Fundamentally speaking, there is a storm of things that are happening to make this valid. It's not just the objective bounties, though I will say objective bounties are pretty big in it, right? It's not just the objective bounties, right? Like teleport is, it's not useless if you're laning against them because then you kill them and then you teleport back to lane and then you fight again, or you can use it for wave manipulation and all that stuff, but it is useless for everywhere else on the map. I think it is the tandem of all of this combined. I know that Riot is freaking out. I want to let Riot know that I, I, I feel you. Balancing around this, it's impossible, which is why I did the work for you and I balanced it for you and, and, and I'll show you my balance changes. If you were on Twitter, you probably already saw this, but it's funny, so I'm gonna show it again. I, I need to show you guys my balance changes and you guys can just Venmo me or like cash at me or something. Maybe give me a Grubhub gift card again, you know? Here, don't worry, Riot Games, I figured this out. Here you go. All you gotta do, Riot Games, is this new passive, okay? Passive, she's a support. Going top alone will cause Janna to take 2% of her max health as damage every 0.5 seconds. Also, if she takes smite, she fucking dies and the player who locked her in goes to jail. You're welcome, Riot Games. I have solved your case. Uh, you guys can just send me money in the mail. You have my address, you know? Fuck it.